Yeah, it's Maximus here. Can't believe I haven't made a video about the little Harbor Freight pencil torch. Although it seems the Harbor Freight has just finally discontinued these, although they've been around for years. It's a little weird. These things are still super common online. Somewhere around 10 bucks or so. It's a shame the Harbor Freight doesn't have them anymore. They've replaced them with some bulkier items. But these pencil torches uh, are certainly pretty handy. They're nice because they're all metal, so they don't have any plastic or anything you have to worry about. Uh, they're pretty delicate if you drop them. It's pretty easy to break this little tip off. Not the best sealed. They seem to leak down after about a month. But they are handy. They're just like the torch lighters, except for they're just in a pencil format. So if you're in certain automotive situations where you're trying to heat up a bolt and you have a very tight area where you can't get in a normal, you know, full can-sized rosebud, these things are great. And other certain situations, you know, certain, say, shrink tubing situations, or maybe uh, they can be used, I wouldn't say for brazing, maybe for very small copper tubing, maybe used in air conditioning systems. But uh, if you're working on heavy gauge wires that you're trying to solder many times, you'll need a 200 watt plug in soldering iron. And even then, because soldering irons rely on you know physical contact, uh, you just can't deliver the heat very well. So these can be very good for you know industrial size soldering. And if you're soldering welding cables or something like that, uh, this will allow you to get enough heat on there, but not be quite as bulky as say, a rosebud torch although most times you just use a rosebud torch these things are pretty neat let's get the flame going here it's a little bit uh, funky you have to turn it up quite a bit to really get it to go and if I can get my cam my camera won't even bother to focus and there we go there's our little flame not too bad now if we uh, do a couple little demonstrations here Oh, see, and these are the issues that I run into with this thing. It does not have the best seals, and that may be one of the reasons they drop it, is just too many issues. I'm having a lot of issues with this one, as you can tell. And this, probably the worst part about these is, is exactly this. They're just so finicky. So, <laughs> we'll try this again. I'll try doing it on a little bit of shrink tubing here. I don't even know if this is going to really work out. It seems that uh, beating this thing around on uh, in my toolbox, is just that alone has already caused it to not to want to cooperate very well. And it's the most unfortunate thing about these because they're really not complicated to get to work reliable. They're just were made a little bit too cheap. But sometimes when you want to do some shrink tubing, Something like this can just be super fast, super easy, and voila, we just got it done. And for little soldering situations when you can get it to cooperate, such as these pretty heavy terminals here, which are pretty darn thick. actually singed the board so that was probably too small of a terminal to really use with this and this is also the annoying part and why it leaks down as you can see it's still running and I've got this thing tightened down as tight as possible and I've only used it a few times it seems that the seal kind of gets caught and then slowly sits in the position after you've tightened it down so the circuit board was a little bit too small but it was about the it was it had the largest of connectors uh, that I could find, but uh, there are many situations you're running the much larger wires and connectors and certain types of uh, electro power electronics especially. So that's where this can come in handy just because of the way it can deliver the heat. Uh, using a, f a flame for a sh for shrink tubing really just gets a lot of nice even heat. And as you can see, it really is pretty effective on getting the shrink tubing to fully conform. Really do appreciate that. So. Even though Harbor Freight doesn't sell these anymore, there's, they're freely available or commonly available online. One place I saw was selling a two-pack for 15 bucks, which is probably a better uh, purchase just because of how finicky, at least this one's pretty finicky, and I assume they were all made by the same manufacturer, that they're all going to be finicky, and the fact that they're so delicate, you're probably better off having a couple of them. 
And yeah, this is basically the same as all those torch lighters, and many of the torch lighters are going to be actually a lot more reliable than this. So the only advantage this really has is the fact that, once again, it's all metal, and two, just being in this long pencil format allows you to use it in areas where uh, bulky lighters and that type of stuff won't. Anyway, just wanted to talk about this little pencil torch, uh, and <laughs> keep the videos rolling. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.